Ready? Yeah, hold on. So we have Katie here today. Katie, are you from New York or did you visit? I am from New York, Staten Island. I'm not bragging, but Staten All right. Island. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Um, what attracted you to want to do this thing today? Because we're doing cranial facial release technique. It's a new technique I'm putting in my office. We've already made a few of the videos and we're going to be putting up a lot more. But I put a little announcement out on my community page of my YouTube channel as well as Instagram and we got I think I have over 260 people respond mm -hmm. in the in the two to three days yeah. and we only had slots for about 10 and I think nine showed up somebody just uh, didn't show up at all um, without giving me any notice because it would have been cool to get one of the people on the waiting list in right but they didn't give me any notice so we weren't able to get that but I think we're doing nine today and you're one of the nine. So why did you why did you want to do this? Um, well, for me, I one I discovered uh, a similar technique on YouTube a long time ago. I was always interested. I broke my nose cheerleading in high school when I was 15. She shifted the nose over. I have not been able to breathe through my nose in 21 years. Which side is the tough side? The left side. So the left side's blocked. You know, I had it was my left side too. So when I first got this done. Um, they had a trouble getting it to release on the left and then finally the head doctor my doctor dr. Adam del Torto um, who's was doing this technique for 25 years and now he retired and is teaching it worldwide um, he decided to get it for me because the, we were practicing with other doctors mm -hmm. and it kept ballooning out it wouldn't go through yeah then he goes like gush, 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 and he broke it through but it was amazing because it, it hurt a little bit and felt incredibly uncomfortable but I wanted them to fix it. Like I, I went there to get fixed. Like hundred percent. You know, and he even said to me, you know, they've tried two or three times on the left. You want to quit there? It's fine. And I go, no. I like let's just get it done. Please do yeah. it. Get it through because I, I mean, for ten plus years, nothing on this side like concrete. Yeah. And now, that's my good side. That's my well. That's my bad side. That's my good mm -hmm. side. They're they're equal. Yeah. Now they're not always a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. I think they're like fluctuate between an 8 and a 10 because mm -hmm. I might eat too much pizza and have cheese and mucus. There's other things that can clog us up like um, any gluten stuff can clog people up. Bread, mm -hmm. pasta, bagels, muffins, croissants, cereal, cheese, milk, Anything yogurt. Good. Yeah, all the good Got stuff it. that we all love can also make you very mucusy and uh, yes. But I now vacillate between an 8 and a 10 on the bad side and uh, 8 and 10 or 9 and 10 on the good side. The bad side used to be a 0 or a 1. Wow. For 10 plus years. Yeah. And I bet you can relate to I that. I can. Let me just see if your nose is straight. So look at here at the camera, tilt your chin down. So it, it bends right here a little bit too. Now, um, that's the side that doesn't breathe well. Correct. Correct. Tilt your head back so we can see it from this side. Can't see much from this side. But let's get started. We're going to have you lie on your back. Sweet. And oh, this is my daughter's stuffed animal, Floppy. Aww. And you get to hold Floppy. Oh, and it's, I really recommend it because <laughs> Floppy gives you something to grab onto. Now, Floppy. Okay, now I'm getting worried. <laughs> my, da my daughter is 25 years old now, and she donated Floppy to the, to the support cause of working this way. I love so it. So say hello to Floppy. Hi, Floppy. Thank you, and daughter. Floppy is really awesome. My daughter's name is Lily. So say thank, thank you, you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Lie on your back. And I'm going to put this behind your head, okay? Sweet. Um, you're going to be happy that Floppy's here because Floppy loves to support this work. And so we're going to stay with her for a second while I just get this last little bit ready. And I'll bring this around in just a second, okay? So I'm just making sure all this is nice. All right. And, um... Now, are you nervous? A lot of people, I was nervous. I am so excited. All right, you're more excited. <laughs> I was nervous. I was thinking, my God. And what happens has... if I sneeze? I'm not going to sneeze? Um, then we might stop and reset. I was just... Um, we'll see if we have to. Okay.
All right, so your bad side is the left. Correct. I really want to do both sides today. So yes. let's start on the good side. We're going to start on the right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're going to feel, this is the hardest part, is just getting it to go back. And I already hit blockage. There it goes. So I had to go around a, a wall. A little more. So it's actually in pretty good. Come to the other side with the camera. Good. Now I'm going to fill it just a little bit to make sure it has pressure. Do you feel it already? Yep. Good. So when you're ready, I want to see your mouth all the way open. And then you'll close it and seal off your lips, okay? It went through on the first pop. Do you feel it go through? You can breathe. Whoa, that was weird. So sometimes it takes two or three pumps, but yours went through on the first pop. That was so interesting. And here's a tissue. Thank you. But yours went really well. It was tough to get it in there. Because yeah. I had like a wall I had to go around. Yeah, but I felt it. It yeah. wasn't a straight canal. So here, look at me for a second. I hit this wall and then I had to bend around it and, and then continue to get the balloon all the way back. Wow. What did you notice? I noticed that it was the, there was a stoppage mm -hmm. and then um, once you got through it, then I, I felt it in the back and then when you filled it up, you feel the little balloon. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Okay, and did you hear any cracking? I did. Um, what did that sound like? Can you reproduce that? Like, like a... Okay, and it made like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. It feels so much more open on that side. So breathe again now. So that's the good side. Yeah. Right? All right. Who knew? Sticking balloons up your nose. So we're going to back the camera out just a little bit so it's not too tight where we don't see anything, okay? So now we're going to go into the more challenging side. I did the middle chamber, by the way, on the uh, right side. Here. Yeah, it's in. Man, I, it's the chance it might bleed a tiny bit. I just want you to know. Yeah. I'm surprised you got it in, actually. I didn't think I could. I was going to quit a long time ago. <laughs> so I got that. Now. Open my mouth? Well, just let's see if it fills. Okay. okay. So um, let me put the table down a little bit. So you're going to open your mouth and then seal it shut, and I'll follow you. Big breath in. Nope. But I got some of it. Yeah. We have to do one more if you'll let me. Yeah, sure. But now I can get it. Okay. Uh, here's some tissues. Awesome. Thank you. You're, it's challenging. I yeah. Mean, I never took that, you know, <laughs> I didn't even know if I could get it. I was going to say we can't get it to get it through. But somehow we did. But I figured out, I, I kind of memorized the passage. There's a weird passage so yeah. I have to go around. Yeah. It's almost like cave exploring in your case because it's not a straight tube. No, it's horrible. It's 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 twisted. Yes, I'm aware. You're a twisted sister. I am. <laughs> but I learned something. And I think I can get it in much uh, cleaner this time.
Sorry. It's okay. There it goes. Yeah, I feel it. Big breath in. One more. <sighs> Whoa. There's more tissues on your chest. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I got more <laughs> of it. I yes. got probably three quarters. It did not break through the back wall. No. Like felt... the first one went right in, do you remember? Yep, yep. Your first one was almost like a child's nose. <laughs> it just went straight through, supple. Yes. Your left one is freaky blocked up. <laughs> it's up to you, but I would do one more if you want. You want to do it. You know, if you're determined to get it to break. Yeah, let's do and, it. But I got, did you notice more went? Yes, 100%. Did you hear crack? Yes, I did. So it was cracking. So we're just, we're just going through here. Look at me for now. So now we're we're just we it's like a cave. We we went in, we got the first quarter, we got three quarters back. I'm hoping I can get it on this 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 next try. Um, work is getting done. I mean I definitely notice a difference, especially after the second one, because it definitely went in better on the second. Breathe now. It's yeah. already starting to open, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's up to you, but Yeah, let's do it. I mean, mine was exactly the same where no one could get through it. Yeah. And then finally it broke through and it was like, I was so excited. I mean, it, it feels bad. I don't like the toothpick pushing my nose back. You know, none of that is fun. But it's better than but not But leaving it there for another 20 years is probably <laughs> not fun either. Is, no, right? no. That's the sound of the table. I'm just lowering it. Okay. So when you're ready. All right. Oh, sorry. It put you out. Did you feel any any more move? No. I when you had it in, it was in, and then when you go to expand the balloon then it just came right out and what yeah. happens is it hits the back wall and bounces off yeah all right let's do one more and then leave it okay, <laughs> okay. so stay with her for a little bit longer it must be frustrating i'm sorry no this is totally cool guess what we're doing it the right way i have no like we're doing it yeah um it's just i mean yours is horrible <laughs> It's so stuck. <laughs> no. But did you see I was able to get yes. the balloon yeah. back yeah. much yeah. easier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each time you're going in, it's easier. Yeah, and I'm getting it even a little deeper, so we're yeah. excavating more. I really want it to pop through the backside, though. Yeah. Because that's when you know it clears. your passageway too each time mm -hmm. it's really a unique one <laughs> the mystery of science
sorry. because that's about as far back as it's going to go right now. Oh, there it goes. All right. Wow. Ready? Yeah, hold on. Too, do you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that felt so good. Yours is the craziest one I ever did. <laughs> you are welcome. Here's an experience. Ugh. By far the craziest. <laughs> but mine was like that. Yeah, yeah. Mine was that difficult. Did you feel it finally break through? Yes, I did. It broke through. Yeah. Here, sit up for a minute. See, Floppy's a good deal. <laughs> you don't even know Floppy's there. She's so quiet. Um, and here, you've got smudges everywhere. So I am sure. Maybe go to the mirror for a minute. Yeah, yeah, And I'll explain a few things that I know. Um, I don't know if you guys could see, but I was just squeezing that bulb, and I have to wait each time for it to refill. And you somehow you're able to hold your breath long enough, but I'm hitting the tightest wall in there. And her nose is broken as a kid, so it's collapsed. And we had to basically lift it, the collapsed part up. The balloon goes in, and we not want it to only lift up, but then go boom and open out the back, and the balloon shoots through. So crazy. That was fun. Yours is tough. I can't believe you hung in there that long. Yeah. So. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so now I'm going to have you on your back. We're going to give you some chiropractic, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. So. One of the things that the balloon does is it mobilizes the cranial bones. It releases direct pressure on the brain by having your bones squeeze so tight in your face. It relieves the dural men meningeal, um, meningeal tension. And the dura is like the sac or sheath on top of our brain and spinal cord. So it releases some of the pressure around that. And think of the casing on a hot dog being too tight. And we sometimes feel that way where you know, like our brain and our skull is just too tight. Um, it definitely opens breathing passageways. It will facilitate sinus drainage. And some of the people that would come for something like this have breathing problems, migraine headaches, sinusitis, tinnitus, which is the sound in your ears, like the whooshing or ringing, vertigo, Bell's palsy, trigeminal neuralgia, sleep apnea, snoring, head trauma. And um, it helps a whole bunch of different things for people. But we don't really target, we don't really target curing any disease or ailment. We're just mobilizing the bones in the face. There's 22 bones in the face that make 64 different joints and articulations. And well, every time we breathe, they're supposed to move just a little bit. I had a woman uh, earlier today said it's like how an old house will move. So an old house should move when there's weather change and stuff like that. But sometimes there's a part that's not moving and the part that's stuck is usually causing a problem. I can almost feel your body's like quivering almost, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's intensely, um, it's almost like pulsating from that. I felt that way for almost two days, but I got six rounds of that. You did one round. <laughs> that we call one round, right? I did six <laughs> rounds of that in three days. My face felt a little puffy. My, yeah. even my teeth hurt a little bit. Um, but then at the same time, I also felt buzzed. Like I felt like really elated, euphoric for a couple of days from that. And it was so nice to breathe through my nose for the very first time. But breathe now. 
It's starting to happen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna adjust this, okay? How's that? Amazing. I'm trying to convince my five and seven year old nieces one of them has to become a chiropractor so they can do this anytime. Uh, I'm gonna pull in your ankle now, okay? Mm hmm And your hip pulled out. Yep. A little bit. So instead of the ankle releasing or hip released, I'm gonna reach under and do a little bit between the shoulder blades. Oh. You might have felt some of those. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Might as well do everything for you today. <laughs> Pick your head up, and we're gonna finish on this. So pull your hair through so it's not stuck. And if nothing else, this will open your sinuses. <laughs> so we first pull and make sure it's catching. Is it holding on to the back of your head okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Big breath in, we're gonna do a real one now. And blow it out. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Wow. That was great. What did you feel on that one? My whole entire... You know what it feels like? Your entire spine is just stretched out, and it just feels so great. Because I always say, like, my, I feel like I would feel great if someone could just take out my spine and shake it and put it back. You know, like, release everything. That's not an option, and this is the best option. <laughs> this was close to that today. <laughs> yeah. How about if you just wish someone could just get in and, like, lift your bones off your nose? A hundred percent that, too. So if we could figure that out. All right. Come sit up now, and maybe stand over here. And tell us what you think. I feel great. All right, good. Yeah, 100%. I feel so much better. And can you breathe a little better? I too? can. I do feel like it's swollen here. Yeah, it's going to be puffy. Right, but I mean, I feel I haven't been able to move anything inside of that in 20-something years. I mean, I pummeled you today. Yeah. It was intense. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I had a, that many treatments done in my first three days, I was puffy here. Like, it actually was swollen up yeah. in here. Yeah, I feel so like. you could put ice on it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry that you're gonna have to feel achy for a day or so. Yeah. But I'm like elated because I actually got the job done. Yes. You know, and I that's was my it. highest intention. Yeah. And I think that's what I was trying to say with the animals. With the animals, like if I know in my mind that this horse is limping and the hip fell. I have to lift that hip for the horse because the horse is kind of asking me to. Mm -hmm. The horse looks back at me and goes, you can get it, just get it, get it now. And then I can sometimes sit on a horse's hip, I'm pushing on it, and if they don't want me to do it, they hear it back up a little bit so you can see, the horse will step away from me. Mm -hmm. But if I'm pushing in and the horse likes it, it leans in. And once I feel it lean in and I wait for the weight distribution, then I set it. And the horse will usually go, because it likes yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this communication that happens, mm -hmm. but the horse definitely is telling me, at least my my interpretation of it, like, please put my hip back in. Yeah. Please balance me out. I right. just want to feel balanced. Mm -hmm. And so I try to bring that to this work, too. Yeah. Great job. Right, thank, thank you so you. much. Ready? Yeah, hold on. That one